So like, you know, for example, it will say in the Bible, um, such and such lived 720 years and be God so, so forth and so forth. And cause, because people did used to live 720 years as time went on or dimensionally wise, we've gotten denser in this dimension. This dimension is crazy. Um, oh, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, this spiral here becomes shorter. So the time length of lives or experience becomes shorter, okay? Um, another thing that I forgot to mention, just like how we learned this in school, this X, Y axis, well, there's a there's all different points of planes like this we'll call Z right this axis that goes this way we'll call that Z axis but that Z axis we'll call that space okay so if this is dimension I don't know if I'm spelling this right I can't really spell and this is time right this access we'll call space so as your soul carnates you can you don't necessarily always come back on this plane you you will be somewhere else in this type of universal construct but it goes this way that way this way this way that way it's infinite every line is infinite to a 360 degree sphere or um, in um, Kabbalistic terms, there's um, 231 gates. All these things have something to do with each other. Ooh, that's deep. Go look that up. That's some deep shit. So um, we're not gonna go there though. So uh, as you carnate, you know, blah, 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 you go up dimensions. Also, also um, to, you could, this, this dimensional sphere that this is in, there's levels to that as well. There's levels. This is where you get your zodiac uh, astrology shit. This is where you get um, other entities and beings, aliens, ghosts, so on and so forth because there's also different levels inside of this type of sphere. Um, for example, uh, it's getting kind of messy now. Um, um, for example, uh, based off the dimensions, right? Like I said, your energy never dies. So even though your body dies, your energy doesn't. Um, ghosts are energies that have a hard time carnating back for whatever reason and they're just kind of wandering around but they still exist um in this loop of space and time so they're just in a different dimension that's right outside of yours so that's why we can see shadows sometimes it's like what the fuck is that you know what i'm saying it's just because it's an energy that's right outside of whatever dimensional plane that you can pick up. Some people can pick up all these channels. 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 4, all this shit. So they see more, you know what I'm saying, depending on the person, you know what I'm saying? But ghost energies just, they live on different planes of the dimensions. You see what I'm saying? So do the things that we call extraterrestrials. They're really not extraterrestrials like green people like that. They're just other beings, higher beings on a higher dimension that exists. And this is all, all these dimensions, all of these dimensions are connected by consciousness and thought. Consciousness and thought is what connects all this shit together. Because remember, at the end of the day, this is all source. This is all part of the same source. You know what I'm saying? So this is taking all that spookism of um, the devil and God fighting. The devil and God is not fighting. There's just creation. That's all that it is. When you hear the terms of devil and the God fighting, these are just... Um, 
um, allegories or ways to reference polarities of left and right, uh, 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 up and down, uh, uh, this side, that side. It's all the same shit. Depending on which side you're on, that side's gonna be bad. If you're on this side, that side's gonna be bad. It's all part of the same shit. But if this Z plane, I don't know if you can still see this. This Z plane, can you see that? That Z plane? If that Z plane um, is space, that means when we look out into the planets, we're really looking out into dimensional time. You see what I'm saying? So in a way, in a way that that can be mapped out, not only by looking at our solar system on a chart and a map and shit, but different points of um, different things in this space-time dimension can be mapped out by using different patterns, um, like the platonic solids, you know, um, shapes like this. You know what I'm saying? Shapes, squares, circles, you know what I'm saying? Or the platonic solids, because the platonic solids is just really these shapes in different forms. So if you overlay the platonic solids over certain points of space-time, you can find different areas. You see what I'm saying? I know y'all like, this nigga's tripping. Nah, nah. Just dig a little deeper, you'll find it. You feel me? Just dig a little deeper. But um, most importantly, one thing that you can overlay this in this space-time dimensional type of map is um, the tree of life. Right? Right? Right, boom, 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 right, boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? The tree of life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Ten, right? The tree of life. You could also overlay this into this space time thing to figure out how to get to each Sephiroth in the tree of life. But, like I said, remember, this is all mental. This is all in thought. So time travel, deja vu, um, spirit, ghosts, all this, all that is in thought. We are all created in the mind of the all. Everything here, okay? Um, we're gonna leave it right there. We're gonna leave it right there and if this isn't two videos, this is probably third video. Who knows how many this is? I don't even know how long I've, I've talked, but we'll leave it right there and we'll pick it up and we'll get into some other shit. And I probably will redraw this because that is terrible. It's terrible. So we'll redraw that and we'll see what's good in a minute.